Why would you marry someone that's not your friend in the first place? One thing I know is that attitude is like a smoke. It would still show. Hi, you're welcome to another episode with me. So this particular video is about what do you think, what are your three main three main things that you feel can sustain a marriage? I was asked that question this week. <laughs> and I also love to hear your answer. Please put it in the comment section below so we can share ideas. When that question, it took me a while to think about it. And my two, I couldn't even get three at the beginning. What only popped to my head was love and money. Because to me, when you have love and you don't have money, it's still like standing on one leg. And when you have money and you don't have love, it's still like standing on one leg also. I don't know if we should put them equally or love should be above us. Love cannot pay the bills. Money has one role to play in this marriage thing. During the conversation, the other party was saying, what he feel is the most important is friendship, respect, and sex. And I said, friendship? Why would you marry somebody that's not your friend in the first place? Respect. Why would you marry somebody that does not respect you in the first place? I feel these are conversations or these are characters traits or characters that you should have looked out for during the courtship before you go marry to that person. One thing I know, attitude is like a smoke. It would still show. Most likely most because you ignored it. But if you spend quality time with that person before dating, look at things. You might not know the person 100%, but at least some things will be revealed to you. Right? So the person now said, okay, no. Because friendship and respect is somehow still linked into love. And I feel that's the truth. Love encompasses all these things, friendship, respect, and things in their life. But I also agree with him. Sex is also an important, crucial thing that sustains marriage. So, if you ask me now, what are the three important things that sustain marriage? I would say love, money, and sex. Additionally, I feel money... People, most people that will mention money are most times women. I think women will most likely mention love and money. And men will most likely mention love and sex. I might be wrong, but I feel... Yes, sex is very important because the rate of divorce... In fact, for any reason why people divorce, some people say it doesn't satisfy me. Um, things in that light are not aroused by his presence. So sex is very important. So dear single people in the house or married people in the house, I would say, please, before you commit to that particular person, ensure you've done your homework. I'm sure you've asked the right question. Ensure you're not carried away by this cloudy atmosphere of love because <laughs> once you get married, your eyes go clear. Right? It's even better you don't get married than you get married and you regret emotional abuse, physical abuse, and all those kind of abuse that people can't even talk about. So, please well to also let me know what you think are the three most important things that sustain marriage. Don't forget the word sustain. Sustain. That means you are married. What can sustain it moving forward? Not what should have been done before the marriage. Right? So, please do well to leave them for me. In the comments and trust me i respond to all comments <laughs> okay thank you so much for watching this video please want to like share and subscribe and if you're not ready for a three month friend course please do want to use the link in the description box below additionally i'm working on my book and please fill the questionnaire the link is in the description box i need you to answer some questions for me please i hope you do that for me <laughs> don't forget to like thank you so much and i'll see you in another